Oh shit! Parking lot pizza party, parking lot pizza party, parking lot pizza party, parking lot pizza party. What up, y'all? This is gonna be the last entry in the DCG Con video diary. As we speak, starting to wind down downstairs, but people are still gaming, still out here partying, you know what I mean? First off, man, wanna give a fucking shout out to Aaron Romero for hooking me up with his fucking collaboration with Vic Grimes, the horror section. Feature, hold on, hold on, hold on. Featuring Lloyd Kaufman of Trauma Films. You have no idea how fresh I think that is. So, few fucking closing statements, if I may. And this is the only thing that I'm going to touch on the bullshit that happened to cause the deviations in the con. Fuck both sides of that nonsense, because it ended up getting fucking innocent people hurt. And whatever y'all's stupid shit was, none of y'all handled it like men. None of you. There wasn't any one-on-one, -on -one, and you could have took it off the property. Spared people from getting hurt. Spared people from getting their vacation fucked up. And anybody out there claiming that they shut down the con, as you can see, that's empirically not fucking true. Because it's still rocking. It actually, it kind of extended it, you know, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah, I just want to go ahead and, you know, let y'all know how irrelevant that is. Because I met, I met y'all. You know what I mean? I met y'all face to face. And uh, I also know for a fact that some of y'all smoke meth because you asked me where to find it. All right? So that's the last that I'm going to say about the fucking irrelevantness. This shit was overall very fresh. A little chaotic, but very fresh, you know? It wasn't the best. Last year was Last year was a little bit more chill. But this year was more interesting so a genuine bona fide certified genuine adventure first i want to give a shout out and fat props and this can't be stated enough to scum lsp and his crew at the roxy those are some real fucking chill dudes and just on the fucking on the uptake salvaged the after parties kept us fucking rocking we had a fucking blast, and I got to know all of them real well, hard-ass workers. And speaking of hard-ass workers, shouts out the fucking psychopathic, their crew, and the juggalos specifically. Because not just not just the, the staff, but the juggalos themselves. Everybody here had hustle that pulled it together to make it what it was. Everybody else who, you know what I mean, if you couldn't hang, you couldn't hang, you know what I mean? I don't really know what to tell you about that, but you know what I mean? Shouts to all those dudes, you know, from fucking the Game Masters to the dudes loading up the trucks, you know what I mean? Because those dudes, they show genuine hustle, and nobody can tell me shit. Because I was there, out there with them, doing all the shit, alright? And also, you know, a little bonus shout out to the crew with the fucking Crown Royal. Very, what, Crown Royal, <laughs> my fucking Crown Plaza for the, uh... Staffing situation, sweethearts, you know what I mean? Didn't always run smooth as butter, but, you know what I mean? Anyway, fucking... Also, fat shout-outs to fucking Light, Ouija, Project Born for coming out, Keegan, Tom Boyd, you know what I mean? Fucking Lewis Simpson, the Twilight Lords, fucking Tall Jess, Nathan, Jump Steady, fat props to Shaggy 2 Dope for outing me. About my fucking superpowers. I really don't... I don't appreciate that. Fucking... <laughs> fucking, man. I don't know. I had fun. If you're watching this, you didn't. Because it happened to me, not you. <laughs> Have a nice one. There you see. I like the convoy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Honestly, I, I, I do too because back. people are there just... Up, I'm not sweating my ass off, yeah. They're to, like, meet each other yep. and play games. Keegan, uh, would you like to confirm the uh, rumors going around on the internet about the actual size in inches about your micro penis? Oh, um, what are the rumors set at? Uh, they say it's at two and a half right now, but it's, Correct. Seems, 
But Correct. it seems to change by the hour. Correct. Well, it depends on the temperature, okay. how cold it is, things like that. So uh, it's a context issue. I've been I've been doing a lot of jelking. You know what that is? I have no idea. Explain jelking to the children of the internet. Jelking is where you wrap your penis around, let's say, a stick-like object, like a fruit roll-up, and you wrap it and you pull. It's oh, an, really? Actually, they practice this technique in India. This is oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I do know what this is. And you stretch it out. Yeah, so I don't get hard anymore, but it is very long and flappy. So. Have, you, have you ever heard of you know, sound docking? Have you ever heard of sound docking? Sound docking. Yeah, it's interesting. It's when two men extend the uh, the little pee holes on their... And they... Uh, they No, sound docking. It's where they stick a rod between each of their wiener holes and like make their penises kiss. So it's, I'm explaining like it poorly, but yeah, this is. So it's like a cock the bob. Like you just put it on. There. Yeah, you like put a stick in your pee hole and a stick in another man's pee hole and touch. I don't know why you do it. I can't see why. But yeah, it's a real thing. I haven't tried that one yet, and I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. You haven't tried it, but you're willing to. But at to least try. I learned something today. But the thing is, with the micro penis, we could just get you a toothpick. That is very, that is very true. It'd be like, um, like one of those little Vienna sausages. Right. They have it as an appetizer. Okay. It'd well, be, all right. Pluck and lift well, then, it up. then what we have, sir, is a gentleman's agreement. Thank you for the interview. Yes, no problem. I'll be Thank buying you your mixtape soon. Thank you. About to be beat. About to be beat. Hell yeah. She went far in the tournament. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I'm not kidding. She's a formidable player. Wow. We got the Echo Side Savant. Dark Carnival alumni. I love it. I love it. So, words for the internet. Mr. Lewis Simpson. Any all you Douglas out there, all I can say, thank you all so, so much thank for everything you. you've done. Hell so yeah. Keep Mine and Rob's dream and Rachel's dream alive for this DCG con. Fuck yeah. No matter what they tried, we still pull it off. We put it together. Why? Because we're family. It's what we do. Hell yeah. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop. Fuck yeah. DCG con, baby. Here you see legal weed and lung cancer. What came first? The chicken or the egg? Things. There you see the Juggalo DCG Con kick the can tournament finals. Winner gets this jailhouse short. Or of course. We're doing pleasure. The DCG. Something, something. Games continuing. <laughs> Juggalos against Sanity, represented for the Juggalos against Sanity family. For my memories. All right, hell yeah. So we're doing the like DCG con wrap up. So, Tox, explain some quests. All right, so the last quest that we just did was pretty fresh. Um, it was like five quests in one, basically. Word. And essentially what they had to do is the inner circle had to disperse and play a large game of hide-and-seek. And every time they found a member of their group, that member had to tag along to the end of the group. Every time. Well, and any time anybody made direct eye contact with anybody else, they had to go to the front of the line and oh, sing shit. a song. Hell yeah, start a love train. <laughs> you can't look, you can't look. So they also had to kind of talk like this. They couldn't, they couldn't yeah. really talk, you know? You know. Right. But they all busted out the song together at one point. And it was fucking wonderful because they were yeah. singing Hakuna Matata. Oh my God. A giant group singing Hakuna Matata. <laughs>
It was one of uh, there, was, there was even a child involved in the quest. Uh, she was ten, and then her Dope. twin, and then her twin showed up too. Word. And her twin started beating her with this little bat that's like this long. It was nice. kind of hilarious. Yeah. And then uh, her twin was like, "I want to play too." And then she figured out what we were doing, and she started following us around and doing what we were doing. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was fresh. dude! Just co-opting the inner circle, exactly. just growing it, exactly. just fucking pulling them all together. Yeah. Hell yeah, so well. The, the other thing that they had to do was every time that they they uh, walk through a door like area, you know what I mean? Walk uh -huh. through the door frame. They had to go like this. forward, full spin around, full spin around. But the most epic part of this entire thing is they had to do absolutely everything they did in slow motion. Oh wow! So all, right. all you see. There's like this giant group of almost 20 people just sitting in a circle, and then they all get up and disperse in separate directions, going like this. <laughs> all right, well, I gotta wrap it up. I'm actually running out of data, but fucking hell yeah, thank yeah. you for talking to me, man. Morton's List, I represent for Morton's List all day, every day, dog. Oh, yeah.